Hi, my name's James Taylor, and I work for the MDM Workbench Development Team. I'm going to show you a simple example of how the MDM Workbench can be used to develop extensions for MDM Server. I've already set up my development environment, so all I need to do to get started is create a new Hub Module project. Then I give that project a name. And I also need to fill in the Java package name and a service namespace for the code generation. So that's created a new project and it's also given me a new model file which I can use to develop my new extension. You need to make sure that each module has a unique start ID, otherwise IDs from different modules would conflict with each other when you generate code. So I'm going to change the start ID on this overview page and just change that. So now I can switch to the model tab and here's where we're going to build up our data model for our new extension. For this demo, I'm going to extend the person entity with some risk data. So I'm going to add an entity extension and call that X person. and I'm going to specify the entity that extends. So you can see all the entities that are available to be extended here. So I'm going to search for person and select that entity. So now I'm going to add some attributes to my extension. So to start with a score. And I'm going to change the type to an integer. And a date that score was recorded. So that's all I'm going to add for this demo. So before we go any further, I'm going to validate the model to make sure I haven't made any mistakes. And that's come back fine. So we'll be able to generate some code now. So as well as generating the code to implement this extension, the MDM Workbench will also generate SQL you need to run against the database that's going to hold the actual data. After code generation is finished, it's likely you're going to need to add some custom code. The MDM Workbench marks areas requiring customization to make this easier. So you can see here a list of MDM to do's. I can click on any of these to be taken to the point in the code that requires some customization. 
when making any changes, it's important to mark the code is no longer generated. Otherwise, if you change the model and regenerate, your changes will be overwritten. It's simple to do this by adding not after the app generated keyword. Once you've completed the code, you also need to review the SQL files that the workbench has generated and use them to set up the database. So these can be found in the resources folder of your project. So if I open the SQL, you can see this will take, set up the tables required for your extension. So I'm going to run that SQL from within the workspace, or you could use a script to do the same thing. Once you've repeated that for the remaining SQL, you can deploy the application and start testing it. And the workbench helps with this process too by creating sample request. And it also provides a mechanism to run that request against the MDM server. So if I right click on some MDM XML, find the run as menu, then there's a server transaction configuration here, and it has all the details it needs to run that XML against the server.